Yo, what's up? This is your boy Postman, and you're tuned into Post in the Diary Room. Welcome to Post in the Diary Room. And as you may know, every day is a good day to get a delivery from the Postman. And of course, if this is your very first time tuning in, please kindly like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever is necessary to engage with the content. Before we get into whatever this review is, I just want to let you guys know that I've decided to put some rest to the headway that we have. And yeah, I just decided to just, you know, get a haircut because the only reason as to why i haven't been wearing uh yeah why i've been wearing hats caps and all that stuff is because i hadn't cut my hair but i decided okay it's time to not be a fail pop anymore and yeah i guess soon after cape town radio 2 rapper singer songwriter cash cpt has released his album called love letters and obviously the the genre of this particular project is R&B and this is his very first R&B album and it's called Love Letters. And I think it's also all in the title because we can even take it further and say that this project is just him summing up his different experiences with love. And this project is just simply summed up in 10 joints or with 10 joints. It features the likes of Flame, Baby S.O.N. as well as Nanette just to name a few there are a lot of colorful moments across this project similar to the song falling for you which plays as this colorful intro with a distinct bounce and he sings about availing himself to this girl and he says that if she needs him she can just hit him up at any time and i think this is really important because these are things that gents tend to do whenever they are really down for a particular girl and i'm not really against you know being down for a particular girl because i am guilty of it i've done it and I think it's genuinely the most genuine thing that a guy could ever do for a girl, just to be there for her whenever she needs her or him, yeah, type thing, because it's also, you know, interchangeable. The girl can also reciprocate that type of energy as well. I did, however, feel some type of way when he he channeled the stressed vocals when he was like, I got too much on my head. I think that sounded unpleasant for me, and I do, however, share the same sentiments about the song slide west coast has a sample and cash cpt is actually rapping rapping on there he dives deep into how women have gotten him distracted lately and he does this thing where he swiftly balances the singing with the rapping and i do feel like the hook in this particular joint is really enchanting and on the surface the song is layered with him opening up and he there's a i think a brief moment of profundity where he just says Imagine feeling pain so they could use it for captions. We are met with an Afro texture on the song Take It Slow with these percussion hits and Cash CPT just simply describes the girl that he's been eyeing. And I do feel like the song is generally filled with a lot of quotables. And Ada Lay is someone worth remembering because despite this being my first time hearing her sing, I think that she rose to the occasion and she definitely did the things that needed to be done. And there was a solid production on the song Signs, which comprised of a Flame feature. And I think the introduction of Flame in this particular joint brought forth a really high speed tempo on the joint. And it's really well structured with these horns playing at the back. And I do feel like Flame had a stellar performance in this particular joint as well as the backings being so cinematic i actually like how cash cpt chose to write the beat on the song too close because the song is essentially him self-reflecting and him giving us insight as to how he's too shy to cry i think i also felt like while listening to the song i felt like the song really took a dark turn because it's him actually telling us about some of the things that he's going through and he just also lets us know that the blunt keeps him flowing. And apart from this, Cash CPT seems to address a particular person on the song Possessive. And he just opens up about how possessive he is and how he's just not someone who does like to share. More so, there are raw instrumentations on the song Once You Back. And Cash CPT simply mentions that he's too afraid to admit that he wants her back. And Nanette just also comes in and essentially provides the song with a bit more contextual depth and i did feel like these people are both on the same page and there's a back and forth happening there and 3am 
It's just him putting it out there that he's not really fond of rejection. And Let You Go has graphic piano hits that are phasing in as the song goes. He sings really softly and he's essentially unbottling a lot of things on this particular joint. And he does hope that she never forgets about him. This song is really quite well structured also. I really love this song so much. And Baby S.O.N. stepped up and he changed the actual dynamic of the song. And he had a lot of presence out there. And I do feel like this song is just impactful. And this was just an impactful closure in my opinion. This is a great body of work. And the moments that were shared throughout this project did sound genuine. And it also somewhat sounded like it was diarized. There was a high level of musicality that was showcased throughout this project. And I think a fair rating for this particular project would be an 8 out of 10. And I think that I'm looking forward to hearing more of Catch CPT on these R&B cuts and more visuals. And I do think that if uh, 8 out of 10 is a fair rating in this particular case. Post in a diary, please kindly like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever is necessary to engage with the content. And let me know if you like the project. Did you hate the project? And do you hate my reviews? Do you love my reviews? And who else should I review next? And please also check out the reviews that are next to me. And most importantly, see you on the next one.